Happy Monday, everyone. I greet you in love and peace. How y'all doing? My name is G.Y. And this channel is dedicated towards the missing fathers of children, um, children who have no fatherly presence. And of course, the single fathers out there, um, the single mothers out there that work so hard to raise their children on their own. Okay, so before we start, I just want to let you know, first and foremost, I'm a father of three children, okay? These three precious gifts of mine, one day, are going to be left, to left behind because I'm going to meet my great departure. And I know that my three children will someday maybe cross path of a fatherless child. And so a fatherless child that's trying to help build the nation and I'm gone in my great departure, I'm concerned with. And so that's how I need to come to you, to the single mothers who work so hard to raise your children. The missing fathers who are out here disappeared. And to the children who do not have fathers in you, I'm with you. And I'm coming to you today to let you know, pay attention, that I am after the missing fathers. And so therefore, that's how we connected. When my great departure comes and my children may come across a fatherless individual that has to leave them, that is a concern for me. And so that's how we connected. So before we start, I just want to let you know that we do live in an age where it's technology. I always like to say technology is in the air. And we have this thing called YouTube, all right? And I saw that this is a platform where I can reach out and connect. Now, in order to become part of this movement, because this, this is where I'm at right now, I, this is a movement. In order to become part of our movement, I need you to click that subscribe button. I need you to like it. And I need you to share this valuable information in the community of fatherless children. You single mothers out there, I'm fighting for you. Okay? And so before I get deep into the video, where is the missing father? I am a licensed social worker. Um, I presently... You know, the mental health therapist, I have my private practice, healing services. Um, I've been practicing for 22 years. And the stories that I've heard, the stories that I work with, the individuals that I work with, I mean, you have young babies, females, uh, males that go and prostitute. You have young females that um, go in the pole dancing. You have um, young males or females that join gangs. Um, the most popular thing right now is um, popping pills, um, you know, being promiscuous. I mean, you have females jumping from, from man to the next man to the next man. You have males jumping from the next female to the next females for the next females. And, and you have molestation, unfortunately. You, and, and, and all these things happened. They had one common thread. And the common thread was they had the missing father. The father wasn't there to protect them. One thing about offspring that they come out of the womb saying in the primary group, the word acronym family, F-A-M-I-L-Y. That simply means, pay attention community, father and mother I love you. Well, when you take the missing father, when you take the father, the protector, the one who's pulled to provide and protect out of the homes, then you have abandonment issues. You have low, wor low worth, low self-esteem, not knowing who you are. And you just go walking through life in this journey aimlessly, not having unfulfilled, feeling missing, something that's missing. And that's what I've seen. That's what I experienced. And so I want to talk about this and get into the, the video, okay? Um, 
where is the missing fathers? And what I want to do is talk about three key factors that are involved. And there's many, 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 many factors, but three key factors that are reasons behind what makes the father missing, okay? The first thing I'm gonna talk about is the socialization process behind prescribed social roles, number one. Number two, the lack of strong role models as black men, because in men period, but particularly because I'm African-American, I'm just speaking through my lens, this poor social roles, poor lack of role models that we have in our community. And the last thing is lack of self-love, okay? Now, let me talk about the first one. The socialization process, right, of social roles. Prescribed social roles come in many different forms. I mean, you have, for example, you have a father, you have, you can be a mother or, or, or um, father, you can be a brother, you can be a cousin, you can be a lover. You have so many different social roles. And with, with two different cultures, you have the, the culture of male, you have the culture of female. And one thing is that males are socialized since one or two or three years old is to have this exterior hardness. I'm hard. I can't show you vulnerability. I have to show you anger, which I call anger a cheap uh, uh, feeling. A baby get angry, but I'm angry versus I'm not allowed to show my vulnerability. I'm not allowed to like express myself and who I am. I have to hide behind that and show that I'm tough. Get up, boy. Get up. You know, don't cry. Don't cry. And then now, because you don't cry, you out here now shooting, killing people all around the nation. Just killing people because you're not allowed to express yourself because you're afraid to. I also want to talk about, and I often talk about this in my practice, is the love triangle. So most often time when we um, conceive, um, you have, you conceive out of love. And then out of love, you go through life with many disappointments. And then out of disappointments, at the top of the triangle, you have anger. And so often we see males with anger. You got that stereotype, the black man, he's angry. He's angry, angry, angry. Well, he's disappointed and he's hurt. And he wasn't allowed to show vulnerability in terms of nurturing, in terms of being there and bonding with children. He doesn't know how to love. He just doesn't. He hasn't learned it. Because of the social socialization from the larger society and to say, hey, you have to be hard. Your prescribed social role is to be hard and not to show vulnerability and sensitivity. I will let you know, missing fathers, it's okay. It's okay. You can cry. You can say you hurt my feelings. It's okay. We need to break that cycle, man. We so much in a position of death and incarceration in between the two ears, and we don't come from a freedom of life and, 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 and freedom, life and freedom, man. It's okay. As I say to the single mothers who's raising these children, the children who has no father around, never had fathers around, I'm with you. I'm on the hunt. I am on the hunt. I am on the hunt because of what's going on in this larger society. Number two is the lack of strong role models. What happened to the James Evans? What happened to the George Jeffersons? I mean, they were strong black men. For right now, we have social media. We have television shows that emasculate black men and not showing his, his role as, as he's supposed to be in the household. Um, and, 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 and of course, I mean, black men, I'm not saying it, or men, period, fathers, missing fathers. I'm not saying that we, we have systemic racism. I'm not saying that, you know, if, if we, if we um, break the law, we go to jail, then we are denied public housing because we have convicted felons. I'm not saying that we are relegated to a lower social economic status because, you know, we broke the law, we come out, so we can't get a job. I'm not saying that. We need to change the laws. However, 
the simple riddle to the formula because a lot of you cats out here, you want to go ahead and start the rap, get in the hip hop. You figure that's your way out the hood. You want to, you know, ride a bike. You figure that's your way out the hood, get sponsorships. You figure that you could, you know, sleep with this woman, sleep with that woman, sleep with that woman, let that woman take care of you. The true investment and the true way to solve that riddle is to make an investment of time and money in your children. That's your worth. That's your capital. Time and money in your children, you will be blessed. The third one, then the last, is the lack of self-love, brothers. It's the lack of self-love. You think because you can sleep with 50 million women, you think that's feeding something that you don't have. It's because of the father and mother, I don't love you. I love you. The, the father was gone. You never had that fatherly, nurturing love. You never was shown vulnerability. And so you think I'm masculine because how many women I can have sex with? How many rims I can get on my car? How much capital I can get? No, 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 no. No. A relationship starts with singleness. And the more and more you love and appreciate yourself, the more and more you'll be able to externalize and love others. So I just wanted to share that out with everybody. I wanted to um, just give you that piece. Please uh, check out for my videos um, from week to week. Again, click that button, subscribe, and I will leave everybody with saying this. Pay attention. Males, boys do what they want to do. Men do what they have to do. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Thank you, everybody.